Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to find out if you could bake cupcakes without cupcake liners. So yeah, for this I'm using my cupcake tray. I'm using, I can't believe it's not butter, and then flour. So pretty much the space of the cupcakes is like if you were making a lot of like tiny cakes. You just have to grease in that space and then just pour in some flour. So it's pretty much the same. I'm going to be grabbing my napkin, placing my butter in all of them. You can use Pam as well. This is like the downside of this, I would say, is the time that it takes to do this and just making sure to cover the edges. Don't forget those edges. Once you are done covering with butter, you're going to go and cover with the flour just like if you were making any other cake go around with the flour and just try to cover all the spots then i'm going to be pouring my butter in there i'm using a cake mix for this and i measure always how much butter i'm pouring into all my cupcakes because one i want them all to look the same and two i want them to uh, be done at the same time and they sell ice cream scoops for this i even have my own but i don't have it with me right now but i wanted to show you guys just in case you don't have one of those you can use a measuring spoons and use a tablespoon so you need the three tablespoons per cup Cupcake. Remove the excess of butter with the edge of my knife and then just clean the excess and then just pour that. And this is what I do with the butter that is like stuck in the spoons. Just go with my knife. You can use a spoon as well. I just use a knife because it's the one that I used before. And yeah, I'm just going to be baking them following the instructions of my cake mix. I did some cupcakes with uh, cupcake liners just because I wanted to know the differences. And I wanted to show you guys that cupcakes come right out without any problem. And it's pretty simple. I made a huge mistake while I was baking them i opened the oven before they were ready and the cupcakes from the other tray well they suffered the consequences of that they didn't take it that well because uh, they look like burnt on top but they tasted just as good but i just want to mention this because they don't look as pretty but here is a comparison of the two cupcakes with the cupcake liners they look taller but all the like butter goes to the top and the cupcakes without the cupcake liners they look shorter but they look bigger from the top and as far as for um taste and texture goes when i ate my cupcakes with the liners they feel okay i mean it's a cupcake i was thinking this is okay they even feel like dense in a way and the cupcakes without the cupcake liners they felt different. They felt like fresher when I was eating them. They feel like fluffier on the inside. It's really crazy because it's like the same batter. Pretty, it felt pretty much like eating a mini cake. And I think it's because you are baking like the edges as well as opposed to placing a piece of paper in there. I loved it. I enjoyed a lot more eating the cupcakes without the liner. So much so that uh, I'm really thinking that uh, after I'm like done without the all the cupcake liners and that I have now... I'm probably never going to buy more again unless they are really cute because that's the appeal of like cupcake liners. They are really cute. Most cupcake liners end up losing like vibrancy after you bake them anyways. I even think that they look cuter without the cupcake liner. They look fancier, I think. I don't know. And here's a cupcake that I decorated. I just wanted to show you what it looks like from the inside once you bite it. I liked better what they tasted without the liners. They look like mini cakes and they look really cute. By doing this with the butter and flour, the clean of the tray is really easy. But yeah guys, I really hope this was helpful. Hopefully you liked this one as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I share DIYs and crafts, desserts, home decor, accessories, nail care, reviews, and phone cases. Subscribe for more if you like this and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!